Hey, what's up everybody? It's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to record your iPhone screen without jailbreak. Now we've actually covered this app in the past, but a lot of stuff has changed since then, so it's definitely worth revisiting. But let's say you want to record some mobile gameplay or walk through settings to fix something on your relative's iPhone. Well, the main options you'll find are using expensive paid apps or hooking your phone up to your Mac and recording with QuickTime. Really, there's only one option for recording strictly from your iPhone without paying a dime, and that's an app called Airshow. But of course, this is something you're not going to be able to find on the App Store, so installing it's going to be a little different. To start, you really just need to head to a website, but the thing here is that the websites that host Airshow seem to be down a lot, so there's a couple different links you can try. We have the best available links ready and waiting for you at the full tutorial on Gadget Hacks, and we'll update those when new ones become available. So to start, head to step 1 in the full tutorial and just tap the link directly from your iPhone. Once the page loads, just scroll down a bit and tap the Airshow icon. From there, tap Install on the message that pops up next, then verify your choice on the second pop-up. It'll probably take a few seconds, but shortly after you do that, you should get a system message asking if you'd like to install Airshow. So tap install again. Once you're done there, you'll have to trust the Airshow developer to make sure the app can run. So head to your phone's main settings menu, then select general. From here, scroll down to the bottom, then tap profiles and device management. Next, select wise technologies, then press trust on the following page, and hit trust again on the pop-up. With that done, you're just about ready to make your first screen recording. When you open the Airshow app, you'll be asked to grant a couple of permissions, so tap OK on the messages you'll see. When you're done there, you'll have to create an account with Airshow, and you've got several different options to choose from. Unlike previous versions, this one doesn't seem to require an invite anymore, so that makes things a lot easier. But once you've created an account, you'll be ready to make your first recording. So from the main menu, go ahead and tap Record. Next, just enter a file name if you want then choose the screen orientation and resolution for your recording. When you're done there, tap next step, then open your control center and select AirPlay. From here, choose the Airshow option, then make sure to enable the mirroring option beneath it. Once you've done that, your recording will start automatically, so the rest is self-explanatory. You can navigate through your phone and everything will be recorded, and even though there's a red bar at the top of a lot of screens, it goes away in full screen apps. That's another difference with the older version. This one doesn't make you enable assistive touch just to record full screen apps. Then of course your microphone will be recorded as well, so you can narrate your video easily. When you're done though, just tap the red bar or open the Airshow app, then press the stop button in the middle of your screen. You can view your recordings by tapping the icon in the top right corner. And when you select one, you've got options for playing, opening in another app, or even saving to your camera roll. So it makes iPhone screen recording incredibly easy, and you don't need a paid app or a computer to do it. But for the full breakdown, be sure to check out our article over on GadgetHacks.com. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks. But until then, happy gadget hacking.